Hi guys. What I'm looking at today is the zeroing of my router cutter with relation to my stock and my table. To do that, I use this little device here. It's basically just a, uh, a metal box with a contact here, very similar to what uh, users of uh, Mac 3 use who have the automatic um, zeroing touch plate. Um, I've chosen to do mine with a 50mm touch plate. My, uh, the top of this contact here is 50mm above the bottom here. I have a clip lead to attach to my router cutter and when the cutter touches the contact here it lights this little white LED here which lights up. Very similar to what the automatic touch plates do uh, for those using Mac 3. I'm using Turbo CNC so that's why I am set mine manually. Another advantage of this particular design here is if I get a bit over enthusiastic and the cutter advances down too far it doesn't matter my contact actually shrinks at least another quarter inch more than quarter of an inch into the body so will eliminate any damage to my cutter right I simply clip onto there and then I bring the cutter down until it just touches. By tapping the tab key on my keyboard and then pushing the key pad, uh, page up or page down, I can move the cutter up or down one one hundredth of a millimetre. And you can see it's just gone off there and there it has just come on. Right, and it's very sensitive too, this here. I can simply touch the table with my pinky and you'll see that light will go out. That's how sensitive it is. Right, so now that uh, I've done that, I can now push this button down just to move it away from there without scraping my cutter. And I now know that this cutter is 50 millimeters above the surface of the table here. In Turbo CNC, I can simply now enter 50 millimeters for the Z height and I'm away and laughing. All I have to go is push Z, Alt E, enter 50, enter. And now my Z is showing as 50 millimeters. Right, now having having done this, I can now proceed cutting. Now I only zero in this manner if I'm cutting a pocket. I generally don't use my uh, setting tool on the surface of my stock unless I'm cutting a pocket and I want a pocket of um, X depth on the surface of my material. If I'm doing a profile cut I always zero to my table instead. Now, there's a very good reason for doing that. MDF comes in uh, varying sizes. Uh, MDF in New Zealand is sold as 18 millimeters thick and if I ever find an 18 millimeter thick piece of MDF I'll probably frame it. Uh, this piece here is just over 18 and a half millimeters. Uh, some is under 18, not many. Some can be as high as 19. Um, seasonal changes in weather and moisture content and all the rest will change the thickness of my material as well. You can never tell. Uh, now half a millimetre might not sound a lot, but I tend not to use holding tabs when I am machining something. So what I prefer to do is when I profile cut something out, I prefer to just leave half a millimetre of uh, material on the bottom of my project. That way there I can just one, run around it with a uh, craft knife, drop the piece out and clean it up on a, uh, with a flush trimming bit on a table router.
and uh, you might say well I could just use holding tabs that's true I could do uh, but I believe that the uh, leaving a thin skim on the bottom is just as easy and uh, gives more holding than uh, holding tabs it's a lot easier to apply I get a much smoother cut out of uh, when I'm using VCarve Pro because uh, I don't have um, constant velocity it's not part of turbo CNC and I've got to run around the thing with a flush trimming part anyway even if I do use holding tabs so there's no major advantage in that way either so what I do is when I'm setting zero to cut through the bottom I simply attach my clip to my cutter bring the cutter forward until it's over the table a bit more I think there we go cutter's just gone off comes back on, right so there we go we're now 50 millimeters above the table top here so with a bit of advanced mathematics we can work out that we've got 18 millimeters of material that's what I told the thickness of the material was in VCarve Pro so 18 millimeters or 50 millimeters above the table therefore this point here is 32 millimeters so basically I just enter my Z height as 32 millimeters and then Z is zeroed um, now the other advantage of that is if I zeroed off the top of my material here and it turned out that my material is 19 millimeters thick and I've told it it's 18 millimeters thick I've told it to go down to 17 and a half I've now got one and a half millimeters of material left on the bottom I've got to cut through and that's not going to cut through very nicely with a craft knife Likewise, if it's a, if um, e even at 18 and a half millimeters, which is what this piece of material is, that would leave me, and I've, I've told to go down a, a 17 and a half. It's still going to leave me a millimeter of t material. Again, very difficult to cut through. In the old days, I used to tell it it was 18 millimeters, and or even tell it it was more, or try and measure this material and that's a lot of work, you've got to go and measure every piece of material you use and it's just not practical doing it this way it's always right if you zero off the table you will always get your half millimetre of material on the bottom oh well guys that's my theory on um, zeroing, that's how I zero my Z axis I hope it's uh, the concept is useful to other people and we'll catch you later, cheers